Ah, oh, that just sounds lovely now, doesn't it? Welcome back to another place with. Today we're going to cover Claybook, a game that I got a key for months ago, possibly around about release, and for some reason I couldn't cover because Unreal Engine just went no and didn't like the game. So, I've been playing a little bit more the past few days, and I want to cover it. Now, I'm not going to say what Claybook happens to be until you actually see it. So, you're getting a few hints already. Let's begin. Uh, <laughs> yeah. As much as I've had problems with this, uh, that includes one or two frame rate problems and such, um, yeah, there, there's maybe a little bit of frame droppage, but that's only because, and also, look at this, this is stunning, also I'm about to show you something, um, there's a creepy child over there. Creepy, creepy child. Um, I'm this little pink thing right here in the middle of this gorgeous, gorgeous table of excellence and apparently motion blur or depth of field that just is ridiculous. Also, I'm in a child's bedroom. I'm about to get arrested. So, if I zoom back in, I'm this little pink cube. I'm now green. Yes, this whole world is made of clay. It would be kind of weird if it was made of something else. So, something else I love. Look at that. Look at it. It's, it's fingerprints on clay in a game and it looks gorgeous and oh this is this is brilliant the color just changes and the same will happen with the blue up here see and and i deform everything in real time i can actually press a specific button yes it's left click uh, I've made a hole. In fact, if I press 1, I deform myself into a ball and just become a crater. Crater maker. What? Anyway, uh, I'm going to press 3, become an oblong. Cylinder, yes, that's the one. Um, then become a ball because I know what's coming up because I've played a bit of this. Yeah, press one, two, three, and four. You weren't gonna press five now, were you? Uh, go through the hole. No, oh, look at it, it's gorgeous. Um, yeah, basically, do little things. Now, oh my god. Um, you know where I have been because I'm making dents. That's gorgeous. Literally gorgeous. Now, if I turn myself into a cube, go down here, then hold right click. Ugh, it's gone a bit black. I don't know why. Ugh. Yes. Um... Yeah, there's a rewind button. Rewind button leaves a little guy sitting there. If I press three, I can just about get up the thing. Yep, there we go. And then press shift and I have become the giant. And the giant does the exact same as everything else. Now, only a few of you may have noticed this over here. No, I'm in the water. So, 
as well as the beautiful clay, there's also uh, this viscous like water of which is made of clay because everything in this game is made of beautiful, beautiful clay. And it stays there. Ugh, it moves. <laughs> it moves on its own. Ugh, that's creepy. Uh, so, I have found myself a little um, clay-powered jet. Oh my god! I'm a rocket man! Oh, burning out his fumes until he hits the ceiling. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> that's... Oh. I can fire out the water. That's gorgeous. Um, hello. <laughs> He's just creepy. He's like a Funko Pop. Uh, right, so... If I just plant myself back over here, wee sploosh, uh, and go back into the block. Oh my god! Oh wait, I thought that was a bush. No, it's just my, just my dead rocket. Uh, the trees are made of clay. The cylinder over there made of clay. Everything's made of clay. You made of you made of yes. May have noticed uh, that saying. Hold to carve. It's beautiful, but the big shapes make bigger dents. So, over here I have to empty this tank. What is this tank full of? It's full of blue clay! Which means it's water. It is gorgeous, and this is all running in real time. How? <laughs> that, that's my prime question. How? Uh, that took four minutes because I completely didn't care. Uh, some poor bastard was um, sad enough to do that. And let's continue. Because, yes, uh, I could go on to the next one of which would just be more of that, but I want to show... What's that one? I can't remember. Tree Fort. Oh yeah, that's an obstacle course thing. Uh, blob and Chocolate Factory, or Blob and the Chocolate Factory, uh, is the second set of levels. I've, I've played a bit of this because I got stuck on eating bridges. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I got stuck on this because it is gorgeous. It is gorgeous and wonderful and... The child didn't have eyes. Uh, this is a world made of food. Now, if you're not hungry by now, you will be in about 10 minutes. So, yeah. Once again, I'm picking up every colour of the rainbow or the food candy based rainbow but this isn't why I'm here why I'm here is actually just over here sploosh <laughs> yeah there's there's flowing chocolate and it's being separated by the supports for the bridges and the other things. All running in real time. How, how, how is this even running on a computer that's maybe, what, five years old? Well, it's all set up to be top specs for five years ago. Right, get up, get, get up. Yeah, so uh, you can also be a biscuit if you so desire. Mmm, chocolate biscuit. <laughs> Damn it, it's making me hungry now. So that's me through that bit. There we go. Yeah, 
You can go anywhere. You can do what you want to do. You can also be a big ball, if you so desire. Oh, someone's taken a bite out of me. Uh, that's not what I want to do just now. Anyway, uh, what I want to do is part of the objective over here, which is going to be a bit tricky as a ball. So let's just become the cylinder. Oh, oh, hey, hey, oh, oh, hey. And then the ball and crawl up. Now you may be thinking, why aren't you playing this on a control? It, it supports controls. It, you're supposed to play it with the control, I think. Um, I would, but for some reason I can't change the dead sound of the carve button and that has become a bit of a problem for a control that doesn't like to have a good dead sound. Uh, yeah, the right trigger doesn't like to stop at any point. It thinks I'm pressing it down all the time. Anyway, uh, let's not talk about problems I have with controls. Uh, let's talk about how beautiful this game is. I'm about to crawl up a gingerbread man's legs and genitals and face and... Ooh, yes. Uh, <laughs> that's a bit creepy. Yes, I know. Uh, the things I say while playing beautiful games. In fact, yeah, let's not talk about that. So, the main objective of this level is to... Oh my god! Wait, wait, wait hey, hey. Hey, sit, sit, sit there. Sit there for a moment. I want to admire the fingerprints. No, it... it Admire the fingerprint. There we go. That is gorgeous. There's bits without fingerprints and there's bits with fingerprints. And how is this not the... Uh, oh my. So yeah. I think I've found a game that I like. But that's not the main point of this level. The main point of this level is to go up to this bridge and go... Yum. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to eat the bridge. I'd love to eat a bridge made of Smarties and chocolate and... Oh. And there's little fences that are gorgeous and a child that is creepy. Yeah. He's the one controlling us. Uh, I should have mentioned that before, but he's controlling us on specific little things. I want to see if his fingers do anything when I press certain buttons. No. Apparently not. So yeah, I didn't really explain this well, but there's a rewind button. The rewind button allows you to stamp. Stamp is when you um, play Minecraft and tell children they're awesome. Yes. Um, no. Uh, stamp is when you leave one of your creations behind and you can go back in the level. And there's this little wire frame for the whole time that you've been that shape. Yes. Uh, <laughs> it's wonderful. I can also press and add another thing and I can press that as many times as I like and create a monster. <laughs> uh, the only problem with that is the monster kind of is easy to eat through sometimes. Uh, yeah, let's go up this way if I can. Eat it. Yes, there we go. Eat a little bit more. Get a little bit more bit more. Jesus Christ. Okay, I don't think you're supposed to be that giant when... Hmm. Let's, let's do this the way that I originally done this in the level. <laughs> get, get out the bloody corner. There we go. Right. No. Q. 
cube will put me in the corner. Right, let's continue. I didn't mean to press space, I just think space is a jump button all the bloody time. Right, jump, and that allows me to... Yep, <sighs> bloody hell. Right, let's... Uh, what's quick stamp? Quick stamp would be... Ah, yes. The right click button. Right click button? What the fuck? You know what? Turn into an oblong. Or whatever that is. Whatever shape. I, I didn't do things with shapes and math. I'm a million years old. Right, place you there. And then... Uh, so yeah, you're using a bit of yourself to... Get further on all the bloody time. Uh, the uh, bloody hell. Get, get up. Get up. There we go. Now this one will be a bit tricky, but... Quick stamp. Right, go. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, uh, we, oh, wait, hey, oh, hey, hey. Quick stamp. There we go. I can use myself. And now... Oh, oh, hey, hey, hey. Stay up. Stay on top of the turret thing. I don't know what this is. The thing with the cherry. Probably ice cream. Is that ice cream? What is this? It's clay. It is clay books. Clay book. I keep saying books every time. Well, not every time, but... I always think books. I don't know why. Anyway, uh, let's go back down to... The big cube. Leave my cylinder alone. And climb across my monster that I made and try to carve half this bridge out because trying to do it all becomes a little bit of a problem. Now stay up here. Ah, yes. I have made a bit of a problem for myself, haven't I? Right, get, get up, get up, get... No, I'm about to fall through. Hey, look, I'm back where I said, oh my god, this game shines the best. I mean, it does. Look at this. In real time, I'm affecting the current of chocolate, viscous water. Oh my god. It's, it's reacting to me. It... How many other games allow you to mess with water like this and then it all kind of splooges up on you and splooge, yes, splooge is the technical term. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's all ganging up on here. If I maybe carve a little bit of a hole in here, just get a bit in the terrain. There we go, I've made a bit of a puddle. I could also mess it up so it goes out the sides up here. Uh, uh, uh. And carve, 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 carve. Yes! <laughs> I've made a mess! <laughs> oh. Seriously, have you not bought this game already? Admittedly, there are a couple performance issues, as you can tell, there's not really anti-aliasing right now, but that might be my current setup. I didn't whack the settings all the way up. Also, weirdly enough, the game was running better on max settings for me. I don't know why. Now, if you don't mind, glomp. Mmm, chocolate bridges, eat the sides. No! Oh god, <laughs> what have I done? Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot that I uh, kind of killed the dark chocolate flow and now I've made it just the... You know what, I'll fix that. Dum -de -dum -de -de. Come on, get in, get in, yeah. Oh, bloody hell. I've killed the tube. Oh, it's going everywhere. 
The liquid is going everywhere. Something you don't want to say in a chocolate factory. Wait, what? <laughs> yes. Um. Seriously, have you not bought the game? If this isn't your fantasy for beautiful, beautiful games, such as Claybook, then what's wrong with you? I'm making the viscous chocolate liquid clump up. Clump up? Oh my god. Oh. I knew I'd love this when I saw it back in August. Was it August? Oh. Oh. Oh my. Oh, this, this is beautiful. I know I've sat here for 12 minutes, but there, there is more to this game, believe me. Have I filled the little bit down here that's meant to delete things? I think I have. Uh, nope. Nope. It just cannot delete the liquid fast enough. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's not the first time I've had that problem of deleting liquid fast enough. Anyway, I'm going to go down. Ha ha! Fill the. Uh, where where's my little guy? Ah, right over here. Swim, swim, swim. Cry me a river. Oh, I wish I didn't cry myself a river. Oh, I've made I've made a river. Um, I'm going to go sit in a chocolatey river. Uh, until next time. See you next time. Ta-ra. Yes. I will fill this level, and I will drown the child. And again, thinking about that, maybe I shouldn't be saying that as someone who works with children. Nah, fuck him. He's, he's a demon child. <laughs>